All right, I am in a Toyota, and I'm going to show you how to use the voice command, the voice control right here. If you're looking at your vehicle, you can see I'm in the vehicle right here. This is the display center, and this is the steering wheel. If you look on the steering wheel, there is one part that has a person's face, and there are some bars in front of it, and that's supposed to indicate that uh, someone is, is speaking, right? So this is the button that you're supposed to press. So I'm gonna press this, and information is gonna come up on the screen right here. So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna press this once. Before you start, consider viewing the available video tutorial and it's or giving me functionality. Select the, the do not tell me again option if you do not want this reminder again, or just push the talk button to continue. The tutorials and training will always be available from the voice settings menu. All right, so this is the tutorial. And so we're going to go through this so we know how to use this properly. So I'm going to go ahead. It said press the talk button again, and it will go through the tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press that. And it's going through the tutorial, and it's, it's showing... To call, you say call and then the person's Sorry, name. Could you repeat that? We're going to go back a second, okay? We're going to go back. Press X. Cancelled. So let's try this again, okay? So I'm going to press this and we're going to go through the tutorial. Before you start, consider viewing the available video. So I press the tutorial. Now I'm going to select the tutorial view. All right. And then we're going to do basic the voice this commands recognition system allows you to use common features of your vehicle and your phone while keeping your hands on the steering wheel and your eyes on the road for example to make a phone call say call mike smith at home to hear a certain radio station say tune to 94.9 fm some system commands are common to all features for example you can always say any of the following to control a feature or to get help start over go back cancel repeat or help. You can also cancel a voice recognition session by holding the talk button down for one to two seconds. You can also use common commands to control lists. For example, in a list of your recent phone calls, you can select one by saying number two, or navigate the list by saying previous page, next page, first page, or last page. You can also choose a list item by selecting it on the screen. If you have installed additional apps, you can control them by using your voice. For example, if you have a music app installed, say launch, followed by the name of the app. After launching the app, you can either use voice commands or the on-screen menu to use the application's features. All right, so that's the voice recognition basics. All right, so we went through that. Now we're gonna do make and receive calls. So that's the next selection on this. So I'm just gonna come up here and tap this for to make and receive calls. To make a call, first make sure you have a Bluetooth connection before starting voice recognition. When a phone is connected, a Bluetooth icon will appear on the top of the screen. If your phone is not paired or you are having trouble connecting your phone, press the phone key on your media system. The system will then help you to pair your phone. Once a phone is connected, press the talk button and say things like, call Mike Smith at home or call 310-555-1212. If you include the full name and phone type of a contact in your request, voice recognition will be more accurate. To show a list of your recent calls, press the talk button and say show recent calls. To view the details of one of these recent calls, select one by saying something like number two. During a call, you can press the talk button and say things like mute or unmute. You can also send touch tones. For example, send one, two, three, four pound. All right, so we went to make and receive calls. The next we're going to do is help with voice recognition. I'm going to go ahead and press that. When you press the talk button, you'll see a selection of hints about the voice commands you can use. To ask for additional hints while on a voice recognition top screen, just say more hints or select the button on the screen. To get help for a specific function, say help with phone, help with music, and so on. To get screen hints for a specific function, say show commands for phone, show commands for music, and so on. 
All right, the next selection we're gonna do is text messaging. So you can also do text messaging uh, with this with voice command. And I'm gonna go ahead and press that. If you have a compatible phone and your phone is connected via Bluetooth, you can send text messages using the voice recognition system. To send a text message, say things like, send a message to John Smith, or send a message to 310-555-1212. The system will then guide you in creating the message. To view a list of your text messages, say, show my messages. You can also reply to a message you have received and read the next or previous one. After you select a message from the list, say things like, read the next message or reply to this message. All right, so that's that. And then the last selection is radio and music. You can control the radio and music with the voice command as well. All right, so let's go ahead and press that. To hear a certain station on your radio, say something like, tune to 94.9 FM. To switch between audio sources, say something like, change to AM radio. If you have a compatible device, you can use voice recognition to play music stored on your phone or music player. But the device needs to be connected to the vehicle with a USB cable. After your device is connected, the system may take a few moments to collect music information before voice control is ready. To play an album from your music collection, say something like, play the album greatest hits. To play a song, say something like, play the song down by the creek. To play a certain artist, say something like, play the artist Judy May. To browse your collection of music, say something like, browse the album greatest hits, and the system will display all the songs on that album. You can then select a song from that album to play. To shuffle and play the music on your album, say shuffle. All right, so those are the selections for getting uh, using the voice command. So we had we went through it. We had the voice recognition basics. We did the make and receive calls, uh, which is pretty helpful. You should not be picking up your phone and calling people like that. You should definitely use hands free whenever making um, or receiving calls. We went with help with a voice recognition. All right, went through that. All right, help with a voice recognition. This is always accessible in your Toyota. You come to this selection and you press that, you get help with your voice selection. And then text messages, which is also pretty crucial. I mean, you shouldn't be picking up your phone and texting. That's probably worse than uh, making and receiving calls. Uh, it's pretty useful to use the text feature to text someone. All right, so if you need help, go through that selection again. And then, of course, the radio and music, which uh, plenty of people are able to navigate, drive their vehicle, and um, um, select the radio and music in their vehicle without any problems. But it, was, it would be very safe, or more safe, if you were to actually use the voice command. So that's the selection for the setup for uh, using voice command. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.